a lot of expectations on you. Uh, coach Offer, he's a, he's a man who is going to coach you hard. He, he expects the greatness out of you. Um, and, you know, sometimes that can be uh, burdensome um, when you're not used to that type of coaching. Um, so there have been times where, you know, Coach Offer may, may have got him, ripped him uh, for a play. But, you know, hey, you have to run over there and pat him on the back, tell him, you know, his next play. Uh, we, we just got to keep going. You know, he, he wants the best for you. But it's hard to see that sometimes. Where have you spent most of this with, David? Receiver room, uh, uh, running back room in the hall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would say I've been doing all receiver work um, as as it goes uh, when we're in, in meetings and everything. Um, but when we get on the field, there's a lot of I do. I was telling them I do a lot of the tracks, a lot of backfield action. Uh, just doing some ball handling with uh, CJ with Kyle, um, just trying to make sure that we have that uh, chemistry. Um, but you know, like I said, in, in the meeting room, I've been all receiver, but on the field, I've been bouncing back and forth. You know, uh, we made a big deal about the go-ahead touchdown catch against Notre Dame because it was a big deal. Yeah. Yeah. But last week, 71-yard uh, run, touchdown, I was swaying out of the backfield, take that much running back, mm -hmm. spot, so. spot right back for another catch, and then the front. Mm -hmm. I can tell you what. So. <laughs> what else can you do? <laughs> um, shoot, I just – like to give glory to God. Um, he's given me all these talents. Um, he's put me in a position where I can uh, glorify his name. And uh, whenever I get the opportunity, um, I try to uh, maximize it, um, whatever that may be. Um, and uh, it's first uh, to glorify God, but it's secondly for the love of, of my brothers. Um, you can put me in a tackle, you can put me in a guard, you know. Um, I'm gonna try my, my darndest to get the job done. Um, and like I said, it, it's a special bond. Uh, there's a lot of people counting on me, um, and that's not like a, a uh, selfish thing, uh, but it's more of a, a thing like I don't want to let my brothers down. So. Yeah, this is still the number two team in the country, too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. You know, exactly. I'm not going to make fun of myself. I almost said somebody I want to say. <laughs> but I mean, do you feel like you're, you've become a pretty valuable part of this team? Um, Without bragging too much. Yeah, so I was actually just talking uh, to – we were out here catching jugs before practice met Marvin, and we were just talking about how surreal it is um, to be in that position that uh, you once uh, marveled at. You know, when we were kids, you know, it was like that's the number two team in the country. Like, jaw drop, you see – I don't know, for me it was like, like Braxton Miller and watching, uh, you know, different players like that, uh, dominant players grow up. Um, Ted Ginn, uh, you know, the whole the – whole, the beer posies and – um, people like that, um, but now we're in that position. Um, so I would say that I would just see it as an honor. Um, I don't see it as, as me being valuable, more valuable than the next guy. I think that I am uh, doing my darndest, uh, my best to uh, bring everybody along so we can continue that tradition of excellence. One of the quick, two more questions. If, if, Dallin, if Dallin's the starter on Saturday, you know, if Mayan and they decide to hold Mayan and trade down out, you're, you're, you're the, maybe you're the backup. You know, is Dallin ready for this challenge? Obviously, he went in last week. I mean, what, what, what do you see about him that's different from eight weeks ago? Um, I see it's a maturation process, um, and Coach Alfred does a heck of a job of, of getting people uh, ready for games. Um, uh, whether that's you're the, you're the first guy, or you're you know somebody who might be a further down the line. Um, so, Dallin, he's a grown man. He comes to work every day. Um, he doesn't like making mistakes. Um, he, he's very hard on himself. Um, and I think that those those couple things uh, coupled together um, allow someone to be uh, ready when their number is called. Um, it's not something that happens by chance or, you know, he's not out there just running around, but he, he knows what he's doing. Um, he's confident in himself um, and, and he's ready uh, to make that play when his number is called. So. Xavier, maybe you were already asked this. What's it been like to kind of flip flop back and forth? You know, it's like you come in as a running back, then they switch to the receiver. Now it's, you're <laughs> doing doing both of them at the same time. What's that kind of been like, that process for you up to this point? Um, I would say all the way up until this year, um, it was it was kind of uh, hard on me. Um, I was feeling like I was getting traction in one room, and as soon as I felt like I was getting some traction, then I would get flipped. I um, mean, I would, like I said, I would ask why, um, but I think um, – the Lord, like the Lord had a, big, a bigger plan for for the uh, for me, um, and He allowed me to go through some things early. Um, and when I didn't falter, um, it was it was something that that uh, the Lord uh, gave to me late. Um, the ability, understanding to to make to switch back and forth, the the flexibility. Um, and so, I think that now I'm, I'm much more comfortable with it. Um, I'm not as 
like my scattered brain uh, when I have to switch and I'm looking at a whole different part of the signal. Um, but now I'm thinking about the signal in, in, a, in a whole cell. So I would say that it's definitely something that um, I was prepared for, even though I didn't like it all the time. Um, and it's something that I'm actually kind of enjoying now. So I mean, do you feel pretty comfortable then at both? Like yeah. you, you're like, I can go back and forth and it's, I'm good with both. Definitely. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm good with both now. I can to read the I, I'm thinking about the running back uh, situation when I'm at receiver I'm thinking about the what the uh, what I would have at receiver when I'm at running back and just kind of working the game that way in practice of course once I get in the game I'm, I'm very cut and dry but yes thank you Xavier cool thanks man appreciate you